Originators having a sale. Get 20% off our new arrivals using code OYA. Be sure to click the link in the description to shop at shoporiginating.com. Our apparel is made for originees, made by an originating. There are many different reasons why we painted our face and body. And I think the most obvious one is to camouflage ourselves. You know, when we was in warfare or we we're hunting, you know, you don't want your enemy to know who you are and what you look like. You want to blend in with your environment. So I think that was the most obvious one. Um, of course, war paint. We use war paint to intimidate our enemies when we was going into battle or during warfare. Um, we use specific colors and patterns during ceremonies, dances, and rituals. Um, I think this is the most important one to me because even before I've truly accepted my indigenous heritage, aka originating heritage, I would always face paint. <laughs> and um, I don't do it as much as I should, but I will always paint my face as the symbols that were really important to me and the symbols that I saw. And our people did do that. And we still do that. We always paint our face to show the messages, the symbols that we see that the great spirit has sent to us or, or let us see or whatever the case may be. So I think that's a very important one because with face and body paint, it was to really express ourselves and it was used to not really show off individuality, but it was just show off what we know and what and what we're going through, what we're feeling. And I, I felt that so much when I did face paint. So I think I'm definitely going to do that more often. Um, we also painted ourselves as a form of protection, you know, protection from insects sun, wind, cold, things of that nature. Um, and also medicine men would choose certain markings for warriors. And it is thought that powerful magic, powerful juju was passed on during the application of war paint, of helping the warrior to believe in him. He is that he's that motherfucker, you know, <laughs> like he, he's that one, like don't fuck with him. So yes, like there's so many different reasons why we painted our face and body. To me, painting your face and body is so powerful and it's such a spiritual experience. So I highly recommend for originees to paint their face and body because you get such a divine connection with our creator, with our grandmother spider with our great spirit whatever you call him or her it is such a powerful feeling in certain tribes we use face paint to show off our societal ranking and to transform into an animal or into a god to take on their powers for example um you would wear face paint that made you look like a jaguar and it would give you the ability and strength of that animal. And in some cases, you would impersonate that animal or God and become them for the ceremony. We made the color of the face paint from various things. Um, for example, white was used from eggshells, seashells, limestone. Black was created by coal mixed with spit or animal fat. Yellow was made from flowers, berries, or moss, and the yellow substance was found in some internal organs of the buffalo that was used to produce the yellow paint. Blue paint uh, was obtained from oxides, powdered azurite and lapis, sunflower seeds, duck manure, etc. Green paint was made from algae. Pink was used from the juice of Virginia creeper, a woody vine made of two eastern and central North America. Purple was made from purple cone flowers, blueberries, and hibiscus. Red, of course, was made from red clay containing oxides of iron, roots, berries, and barks, and beets. 
we made a paste of a bushy shrub called a nato to make a bright orangey yellow war paint. Now when it comes to symbols, symbols can have various meanings. For example, a large circle can symbolize the spirit in its original form. It can represent the sun, it can represent the power of love, the color yellow, etc, etc. So yes, um, when it comes to our culture, it's very diverse and it's very welcoming. You know, if you have not painted your face, I would tell you, you need to, because it's a power, it's, it's a form of divinity that comes with painting your face. And when I used to do it, I used to feel so empowered and I would use it to express how I'm feeling or what I'm seeing or envisioning. So yes, if you have not painted your face, you need to go and do it. You need to go get some herbs, mash that up and make some color, do whatever you gotta do. In my next video, I'm going to talk about the tribes that painted their faces, their bodies, why they painted, what colors they used, all that good stuff. If you like this video, click the thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I want to thank y'all guys so much for watching this video. I hope it really clarifies some things and really opens your eyes to originating culture and heritage. Until next time, see you.